Hey guys, it's me Anna and I'm back to do part two of my 50th vlog episode. I know it kind of doesn't count, just shush about that. I had an idea for my 50th vlog on YouTube that I would tell you 50 things about me that hopefully you don't know. I tried to scour my brain and ideas for 50 things that you don't know about me. It's really hard. Cause like I'm an open book. I'm on webcam all the time. You ask me questions, I give you answers. So I had to come up with all these things that you might not know about me and then put them in a vlog. And then I thought it's gonna take forever to make that vlog. So I decided to break it up into three parts. But at least for the three parts, you should know part one, I was fully clothed. Part two, I'm a little less clothed. Part three, I do porn. So, you know, figure it out on your own. <laughs> so, my very first vlog, which I already posted a couple days ago, so it's vlog number 50, part one, um, has 15 things you may not have known about me. So today, I'm gonna do number 16 through 30, and I'm gonna tell you 15 more things that you might not know about me. You might think are pretty interesting. You might think are super boring. I'm not really sure, but I came up with 15 more things. And then I'll do one more post, kind of naughty, with the last 20 things that you might not know about me, okay? So you'll have to stick, stay tuned and, you know, check that one soon. I'll try to post the next one soon too. So I have my little list so that I would not forget any of the things that you might want to know about me. And I believe the last thing we said um, I did 15 things you might not know about me. Number 15 on the very first vlog 50, part one was my favorite city ever visited. And of course, I said New York City because New York City is awesome. And one day I'd love to live there because it has everything. There's a million people there just bustling around all the time. It's probably a little too cold for me, so I'd probably complain a little bit in the winter. But I, it would make up for it with like, you know, Central Park with snow and, and, and the, the tree and the rockets and the Phantom of the Opera. Like all of that would make up for the fact that it's really cold. Maybe. Maybe. And a Starbucks on every corner. <gasps> you know what I do at Starbucks, right? Oh my gosh, I would be constantly horny. Okay, sorry. Anyway, moving on. That was number 15 of last week's vlog, or last um, vlog, 50 part one. So I'm gonna go through number 16 through 30. You're gonna find out 15 more things about me that you may not have known. You keep track, because some of you know a couple of these and you'll have to see how many I surprise you with, okay? So number 16, what is a crazy thing that I want to do before I'm too old to do it? You know, that kind of thing. Something crazy I still want to do. Something wild, something fun, something free. I want to bungee jump from hot air balloon. Yeah, I do. Because hot air balloons are super cool. They're bright and colorful. Have you ever seen those hot air balloon festivals? I haven't, in real life anyway, but I've seen pictures of them. They really look cool. So you get like the romantic, fun, really cool part of the hot air balloon ride, which would be super cool. And then you get the, oh my God, I'm gonna die as you jump off the hot air balloon into a bungee jump. So you'd get the best of both worlds. <laughs> so there you go. Something I still wanna do, haven't done it yet. Next. <laughs> Next, do I prefer a comedy or a horror movie? Some of you guys know the answer to this. I hate horror movies. Oh my goodness. If you ask me for my favorite horror movie, I'll be like, um, none. I can't even watch horror movie previews. If I'm in an, if I'm in a theater and I'm watching you, know, I'm getting ready to watch whatever movie it is, and a horror movie flick, you know, trailer comes on, I literally turn my head and plug my ears until it's over. I can't even watch it. Like the jumping out. Oh, I hate it when they jump out, and I hate the little scratchy things, and the baby's head comes into view, and somebody's head gets sawed off. Oh my God, it's so horrible. Yeah, not for me. Sorry. <laughs> no horror movies. So, um, the answer is comedy. There you go. Okay, 
Some of these I came up with on the fly and it was really fun. Okay, would I rather drink beer or liquor? I'm not a beer drinker at all. Ugh, like it, it tastes awful. Is it acquired like coffee? An acquired taste? I have not acquired that taste yet. So the answer is liquor, although I rarely drink. I don't know why. I enjoy drinking because it makes me feel like all adult-ish and everything, but um, I hate the feeling of being out of control. And like, I have a lot of fun in life and I don't need to drink to have a good time. So I don't like to feel out of control because then it makes me think, it makes me second guess myself. Am I really wanting to do this? What's going on? And so I'd rather just not drink and still freaking have a blast. <laughs> but I do on rare occasions and when I do, that's what I like, liquor, not beer. Isn't it like beer before liquor makes you sicker? Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. I don't know if that's true. Somebody should tell me if that's true. Yep, just respond and say, yep, that's true. <laughs> okay, next. Hmm. Let's see. Am I more artsy or more of a brainiac? So am I more of an artsy or am I more of a nerd? Um, yeah, I'm definitely more of the brainiac nerd type. Absolutely. Okay, so that's kind of like the left brain, right brain thing, except I don't know which one's which. Um, I don't have an artistic bone in my body. I know, you see all this ink and you're like wild hair and you're like, oh my gosh, she must be like artsy. No, nope. I just know people who are really artsy and they put this all over my body. <laughs> I'm a total nerd. Yeah, absolute nerd. So there you go. I'm a nerd. There you go. <laughs> um, let's see. Next question. Would I rather be... Oh, this is question number 20, by the way. Would I rather be indoors or outdoors? And the answer is definitely outdoors. I love everything outdoors. I love just sitting outside in the sunshine. Especially if it's like really hot and you can just feel the sunshine just melting into your skin. Um, I love hiking, I love rock climbing, I like camping, I love anything outdoors. Like if you just say, hey, fuck it, we're gonna go kayaking today. I don't know how to kayak, but fuck it, yes, we're gonna do it. So, yes, <laughs> kayaking. Or whitewater rafting, or camping, or I don't know, hunting, but I don't know how to do that, so, you know. But I'd still go with you, I love outdoor stuff. So, yeah, definitely outdoors, any chance I get. Question 21, am I more TV watcher or a sports kind of girl? And so, I don't know, maybe that's the same kind of thing. It's more of, am I, do I like sitting down and being still or do I like being active? And I love being active. And like I said, I don't know a ton of sports. Like I play volleyball on Sundays, that's really fun. And I love to run. Well, I don't love to run, but I run, you know. I, I do love to work out. I like it. It makes me feel good afterwards. And so I would rather be active than sit and watch TV. In fact, I rarely watch TV at all. Like if I have a choice, I'd never watch TV. But if you were watching TV and I was like right there with you, maybe I'd watch TV with you for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. Girls or boys? you know, ladies or gentlemen, men or women. And I would have to say, um, guys, definitely guys. Girls are so full of drama. Oh my gosh. Like guys, I don't know how you guys do it, but you can just hang out and you guys don't, you know, don't have any issues. I don't know. I guess once in a while, maybe you punch each other when you get out of line. I don't know. But girls are sometimes full of drama and boys have, um, I'm pro. So yeah, I kind of I kind of like boys. There you go. <laughs> okay, next one. Let's see. That was 20, 21, 22, 23. Am I more of a makeup girl or am I more of a natural girl? And I would say I'm definitely more of a makeup girl. Absolutely. I wake up in makeup, I think is like a hashtag on Instagram that I use sometimes. I go everywhere in makeup. I think it's just because I'm self-conscious. 
um, but I just choose to go out pretty because like you've seen those pictures on like the National Enquirer, all those horrible magazines that you see at the checkout at Walmart, um, which obviously I will never be on. Those are for like superstars. I get it. But they have those pictures of somebody who went out in a hoodie and sweatpants and they look terrible and they don't have any makeup on and then they're like, look at her. She's so ugly. Like, that's awful. People are so mean. So, yeah, I don't, I don't even own a pair of sweatpants. No, not a single pair. Not a single pair of sweatpants. <laughs> so I, I try to always go out pretty and actually I love to go out pretty. I love to travel pretty. I love to wear pretty dresses and heels and just, it's just, it makes you feel good. So that's it. Next, number 24, basketball or football? Um, neither. <laughs> okay, if I had to pick my poison, I would choose football because I know nothing about basketball. I hate basketball with a passion. Just don't like it at all. So if I have to watch one or the other, please make me suffer through football. But I don't know anything about football teams or anything like that. I totally get the idea of the game. But I'm more of like a UFC watcher. I like mixed martial arts. I like jujitsu. I like wrestling. I really love the idea that one man can overpower another man. It's like the same size, the same weight and all that stuff, but he's got the muscle or he's got the, the, the brains or the, the training so that he can like take somebody and like give him an arm bar and submit him or choke him out or something like that. It's just an incredible proof of strength. I just find it really cool. It's kind of hot even. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> So I love the UFC. I have tickets to the UFC in New York City in November. I do. So I get to go to Madison Square Garden the first time they ever hold the UFC in New York and I will be there. So I'm pretty excited. Okay, question 25. What is my favorite kind of music? Okay, a bunch of you know this one. I know you do. So for all the people who don't know me very well, my favorite kind of music is rock music. I like classic rock, I like new rock, so I like Def Leppard and Nine Inch Nails and I like, um, I like Hinder and I like Nickelback and I like My Darkest Days and I like Five Finger Death Punch and um, I like Papa Roach and there's all kinds of ones that I like, like just all the way from back ACDC to all the new stuff, it's just, I like rock and roll. So um, Now I'm eclectic so I've got some country music in there, I've got... I've got some um, opera music in there from the Phantom of the Opera. I've got the new pop music. Yes, I think I have a Taylor Swift song in there once in a while. Yeah. So I have an eclectic mix, but I'm a rocker. I'm a rocker girl. <laughs> have you noticed that like most rock and roll songs are about sex? They are. You should listen to the words. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the entire Nickelback soundtrack. Mm -hmm. My Darkest Days pretty much all of them. Nine inch nails? Uh-huh. Anyway, just saying. They were onto something there. <laughs> okay, 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 next. Next, next, next. 26. This is number 26. What is something I still want to learn? So, like, I believe in continual, continuous education. Like, I know. I'm a CPA. I have continuing education, like, actual education that I have to do. That is just part of life. But I think you should always try to learn something new. I don't know, maybe learn a new language so one day you can go to Europe and, you know, go somewhere and actually understand people. Or learn how to knit if you like that stuff. Or learn how to ski or whatever it might be. I want to learn how to dance. Like so badly. Because I watch people dance and I think it's so beautiful. Not only just so beautiful, but like, like sexually beautiful. Like, can you just imagine, oh my gosh, like dancing on the stars, or dancing in the stars, and dancing with the stars. There we go. I don't watch it very often. I don't watch TV. But the girls and the guys, and they're doing some amazing dance moves and stuff like that. And some of them, the guy is right up on the girl. And oh my gosh, I would be one horny ball of madness if I was dancing like that. Which is why I want to learn to dance like that. 
I just think it's beautiful. And if that was one thing that I could learn one day, that would be it. It'd be awesome. Okay, next. Um, I guess this is kind of like one that I'd done before, but beauty or comfort. You know, so, so there's some people like in my day off or when nobody's going to see me and I'm just hanging around my house, would I rather be in sweats and tennis shoes or would I rather be, you know, still prettied up and stuff like that? And I do. I choose beauty over comfort all the time. You wear high heels because they make you look good. They make you stand up straight. They make you look tall. They make your legs look hot. And I don't care if they're the most uncomfortable shoes alive, you're going to wear them because that's what you do. <laughs> so I'm a beauty over comfort kind of girl because I think you should look pretty. Take care of yourself. Make yourself look good. Let the person that you know you're with that you want to look good because then you look good next to them. And, you know, that's hot. So there you go. Um, let's see. That was 25, 26, 27. Number 28. This is important information you need to know about people. Five things that are in my refrigerator right now. Yeah, I looked. Um, skim milk, green apples, vanilla Greek yogurt, um, fat-free Miracle Whip, baked potatoes. Those aren't the only five things in my fridge. I just mentioned five of them. But it's, you can learn a lot about a person by looking in their refrigerator. Come on, be nosy next time you're at somebody's house. Just be like, oh, I'm looking for the ice, and then open up their refrigerator. Like some people are like super health conscious and they're like vegan or something like that and they have nothing but tons and tons of vegetables in there. They might even like cream their own stuff and so then they have their little plastic um, containers with stuff in them like leftovers. And then there's like the single dude who you open up the refrigerator and there's like 20 different kinds of beer and maybe some cheese or something like cheese whiz. And you know, you can learn a lot about a person from their refrigerator. You can you open it up and you see nothing but takeout leftovers, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, skim milk, always in my fridge. Always in my fridge. <laughs> okay, number 29. Um, what are my bedtime manners? Okay, so everybody like goes to sleep a little differently, right? So like I sleep with a fan because I like white noise. Not because I like the blowing on me. I actually don't. If I sleep with a fan, I don't even like the air to blow on me, which is weird. But I like the sound of the fan. In fact, when I travel, and I stay in hotels all the time because I'm traveling for my job, and I have this thing right here. It's, it's an app on the phone, and it's called White Noise. Just like that, White Noise. And you open it up, and there it is. Up, oh, the last thing that I listened to was ocean waves crashing. Mm. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, you could totally go to sleep with that. I know, I know you could. That's what I go to sleep to when I don't have a fan. <laughs> so that's one of the bedtime manners that I have. Everybody has their own thing. You know, like some people like sleep on 27 pillows or they sleep with their legs up, they sleep on their side or whatever it might be. Um, some people have to like take out retainers or put in retainers. I don't know, I don't have any of those so I don't know. But like everybody has their thing. I sleep with a fan. <laughs> Okay, number 30. This is where I leave you today. This is the last one. What is my favorite sports team? What? What is my favorite sports team? I'm not a sports girl. So, okay, so I live in the Midwest, so people are always like, oh, are you a this kind of fan because that's what state you live in? And I'm like, no. Or they'll ask me something about somebody who's, who's a professional sports player and I'll be like who's that yeah I'm so sorry I'm not a sports girl but if you are a sports guy I will absolutely cheer on with you be your biggest fan like make you nachos to have a big party and look halfway interested in the game I'll try you know I'm a team player I just don't really care about sports I love the UFC though I do I follow it a lot I have favorites that I like to watch I enjoy all the UFC fights. I just freaking love it. Like even the amateur stuff. 
Um, so I really follow that. But it's not really a sports team. They're all individual fighters and stuff like that. So anyway. All right, well, that was number 30. So I have 20 left on my 50 things you don't know or may not know about me. So now you're going to have to go think back and count how many of those you actually already knew about me uh -huh, and how many were brand new. I bet you didn't know the five things in my fridge. I bet. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do this one more time with 20 more things. I'll be dressed in a little less because I can and because it's fun and because maybe you'll tune in to see those last 20 things. And that will conclude my 50th vlog, even though I know technically that's more than 50, but it's gonna be 50 part one, 50 part two, and 50 part three. Okay? <laughs> so I hope you love it. It kind of tells you a little bit more about me. It's fun. So um, stick around and watch part three coming soon. And I love that you guys watch this. It's really fun to kind of show you my life. It is. It's really cool. All right, take care. Mwah. And next time you see me, I'll be wearing a little bit less. Hi there. Okay. Mm -hmm.